And the idea that it has affected this many people uh, is just extraordinary. The Miami Marlins made history this month when they hired Kim Ng as the team's general manager, making her the first female GM in MLB history and in the major four sports leagues in North America. She didn't just come out of nowhere. She put in the work winning three World Series rings while in the front offices of the White Sox, Yankees and Dodgers over the last two decades. United States that just this week, the Chicago Blackhawks made history in their organization by hiring former U.S. women's hockey star and six time world champion Kendall Coyne as a player development coach. The amount of people that have reached out to me to congratulate me, I think beyond, you know, the barrier that was broken, being the first woman as a player development coach uh, in the Blackhawks organization and the third in in hockey operations, along with Megan Hunter and Mary DiBartolo. <laughs> And the Florida Panthers made headlines for hiring NHL certified players agent Brett Peterson as their assistant GM, making him the first black GM in the league's history. I'm just happy that that the, there can be now there can be a second and a third. You know, I'm happy because it's it's a long time coming, but I also feel like there's so much more room to, to grow. Anka Jess created the digital platform She's for Sports, which showcases the women trailblazers in sports from the grassroots level to the major leagues. She says although it is encouraging to see more teams take action to be more diverse and inclusive, there is still a lot of work to be done. I'd like to see more of that. I'd like to see, um, you know, BIPOC and Indigenous people, uh, you know, people of color being hired on in board positions for some of these sports leagues. Um, uh, shareholders, you know, those who are in, investing in, in these sports teams. We did see Danny Garcia, um, you know, investing in the, the XF, XFL uh, with uh, The Rock. <laughs> so that was amazing too. All of these stories are great, but I, I still think there's room for, for more improvement. Jess says it's a big step forward and it's positive, but we need to normalize women and members of diverse communities being in a position of power in sports so that it's not historic and not breaking news. It's part of everyday life. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.